Today I was pretty excited. I went by Harbor Freight and I purchased this brushless Bauer one hand reciprocating saw. I want to try more of Bauer's brushless products because the impact driver was so good. This saw has 3000 strokes per minute, stroke length of 7 eighths, a keyless blade clamp, 20 volt battery, nominal 18, weighs 3.8 pounds and is 12.6 long by 6.1 wide by 2.8 high. So let's set it alongside the Ryobi just to see how it looks compared to that model. So the Bauer is definitely a little bit taller than the Ryobi model, looks a little bit girthier than the Ryobi model. Let's put them on the scale to see how much they weigh. We know what the box says, but let's see what they actually weigh. The Bauer weighs 1,722 grams. The Ryobi weighs 1,618 grams. So the Ryobi is a little bit lighter. Just for kicks, a little task force weighs 1,048 grams. So that one's much lighter than the other two, but also much weaker. We can't forget the batteries add a good bit of weight. Here's a Bauer 5 amp hour battery. It weighs 670 grams. A Roby 4 amp hour battery, because they don't make a 5, is 718 grams. So it evens out a little bit with the battery packs. I built this rig right here to show how much the weight balance favors the front end of these tools. As you can see, it's front heavy for sure. If we put it on without a battery onto this little bracket, it'll rest upon the scale and the scale says 834 grams, actually 838 grams. That's how much weight is favoring the front of this tool. Now, if we take it off, and we add the largest battery, the nine amp hour, that will decrease to 120 grams. So that's a almost balanced, a much closer to being balanced front to back. And that's going to affect some of our testing because the testing where I just hold the saw and let the saw do the work, if I'm holding it with my hand, the balance shifts back and lessens the amount of pressure on the saw. That's something I wanted to test for a while. So let's take a look at the Bauer saw. So I'm going to put the Bauer saw on without a battery. The Bauer is about 1,100 grams right in there. If I add the five amp hour battery pack, it becomes 334. So still a little bit more heavy on the front end than the Ryobi, but let's try the Ryobi with a four amp hour battery. So as you can see, we have 410 grams with the four amp hour battery. So the Ryobi is gonna be a little bit more front heavy still, even though the Bauer has a bigger battery. We can step it down a little bit, but it's just gonna screw up the ratio even more. Both saws are gonna be using the exact same blade. The Ryobi has a fully charged battery, four amp hour. The Bauer has a fully charged battery, five amp hour. The Bauer has a simple twist mechanism, twist and insert the blade. It doesn't eject the blade whenever you twist it again. The Roby has a switch you pull out, insert the blade. It does not eject the blade. Both saws will have five pounds of weight and the chain to give them a uniform or close to uniform downforce. One, one, two, two, three. three. I've added another two and a half pound weight, so we have seven and a half pounds of downforce to see if the saws can handle it. One, two, three. <laughs> I 
have these two Milwaukee Sawzall blades for metal, six inch, 18 teeth per inch. And we're gonna cut this aluminum angle here and just see how well each one of these one-handed saws cuts this angle. I've reduced the weight down to five pounds on the chain. Three.